Hey everyone, welcome to the latest edition of Nets Post Game Plus. Chris Sheeran and Frank Isola with you on Wednesday. The Nets celebrated the Lunar New Year and defeated the Pacers in Brooklyn 104-94 the night before that. Uh, the Nets weren't celebrating anything because they were losing in Detroit to the team with the worst record in the league. And DeAndre Jordan was called out not by his, just his teammates, but by his coach as well. And he responded against the Pacers. And DeAndre Jordan very frustrated on Tuesday night. And he needed this game tonight. The Brooklyn Nets needed this game tonight. By the way, they held Indiana to 30 points in the first half. They had a 36-point lead in this game, a double-digit lead over the last 32 minutes. Considering that Kevin Durant may be coming back now for the start of this West Coast trip, this was an important result for the Nets tonight. And more importantly, they got it done on the defensive end. They needed this win before they go out on that five-game West Coast swing. And in beating Indiana, the Nets reversed several trends that were key factors in the three-game losing streak that they carried into play, including points allowed in the paint. Jordan was especially crucial in holding the Pacers in check down low. He blocked three shots and altered a bunch more while putting up a double-double his second of the season. And before Steve Nash met the media, our Michael Grady asked Jordan what his individual mindset was coming off that rough game in Detroit. For me to come out and be aggressive on the defensive end, uh, the ball finds energy, so a lot of my teammates will get me the ball and, uh, you know, when they're doubled and I get a lot of easy wide open shots, so I'll take those. But defensively tonight, I wanted to come out and put my stamp on the game and just, just be aggressive on that end of the floor and let everything else take care of itself. I know this kind of goes without saying, but what will, how important will it be and what will be the key to bottling this up and carrying this on the road for this West Coast trip? Yeah, you know, it's something to build on. You know, you'd like to say, now we got to sustain it and the next game has got to be, you know, outstanding again. You know, it's inch by inch. You know, we got to step by step, just keep growing, keep getting better. Um, you know, be prepared for a tough trip out west. This is a great way to, a great getaway game for us to, to bring that type of mentality and toughness, um, you know, and, and, and just build on it. That's it. You know, you, you know, the NBA is not like that where you're like, now like, we got, we got to play like this for the for the last 40 games. You know, we know that's not how it works. It is something to build on. It's something that gave us a glimpse into what we're capable of when our approach is right, when we're connected, and when we fight. And uh, you know, you can still lose games, but you can sleep at night when you give it that effort and energy, and you and you know that you're going to get better even if you lose. So. Um, that was that was the key thing. We got better tonight. We, we delivered with the energy and uh, and the fight and, and that's something to build on. Brooklyn's West Coast road trip begins Saturday with a visit to the Warriors. You could watch on ABC beginning at 830. Yes, his next game comes Monday with a matchup in Sacramento and coverage begins at 930. For Frank Isola, I'm Chris Sheeran. Thanks for watching Nets Post Game Plus.